um, talk about counseling. I have a I have a love problem for my wife. Okay. And we got married, but she have a she have a kid outside out of our marriage. So okay. got a kid outside. So whenever I try to talk to the kids, the kid does bad things in the home. The kid what? Does bad things in the home. Bad things. I try to talk to the kid, she get angry. What can I do with my kids? Okay. Now here, actually, then you are coming for counseling. Then I, now, but this counseling is more like skill. Skill. Um, of course, it would, it would affect you, make you feel unhappy, right? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it worries you. So every day, does the kid stay in your home? He stay with me. He stays with you, but he doesn't listen to you. No. Okay. And then every time when, when you try to help the kid, then your wife she gets angry. She gets angry. Okay. Now this counseling, um, there is feeling involved, so we can respond to that. But it's not um, like some counseling that people really greatly hurts. But I know that you know in this case you it bothers you. It, it bothers your mind. It makes you feel, say, what can I do? What can I do? So you're seeking like a solution. What can I do? And I would, uh, okay, when I hear the situation, let me, then I have to find out from him about the wife and the child and uh, analyze the situation. It would take a while, it would take a while. So it's, it's like analyze the situation, counseling, and then try to find a solution. Okay, um, let me, Ask you, how old is the child? Then I have to find information. <coughs> how old is the child? This is about eight years old now. Eighteen. Eight years old. Eight years old. Okay. How long have you been married to your wife? Uh, two years. Two. two years. Okay. And I would like to ask you: Do you have problems with your wife in other areas? No. So the other areas is okay. okay. Communication is okay. Okay. And uh, she feels loved by you. Yeah. But only when you talk about it, you try to help the child. Yeah. Okay. Let me ask you, have you ever tried to talk with your wife and ask her what she would like to do? No. You haven't, okay. So you don't know what your wife likes you to do with the child. Okay. Now in this situation, I will guide him to explore, find out what, why the wife is, what does the wife want him to do, and what does the wife want, uh, you know, to explore, you know, what do you think about a child now, and what can we do about the child? Do you see any problem? To guide her instead of telling her, to ask her, what do you want me to do, and then if he continues to be, is it a boy, a girl? A girl. If the girl continues to be like this. And what will happen in the future? So it's something you can ask your wife to guide her. So it's like you counsel your wife to guide her to come up to a conclusion, to think about what to do with the child. So this is like wisdom counseling, how to have the wisdom to, can, to, can, uh, to uh, handle the situation. And then the, always the, situ the best way is always to explore, to ask questions. Okay, so it's something for you to go home and ask your wife, and then uh, how does the wife think about it, and what think about the child, and what does she want you to do if she has, and you can ask her, well, anything you say negative, you have to ask, do you think the child is okay? What do you think about this behavior? Uh, does she care about this behavior, and how does she wants you to, how does she want you to handle it? Or does she, doesn't, does she not want you to handle it? Does she want to handle it? And does she think that this is okay that she, the child continues to be like this? So ask questions that doesn't make her feel defensive, doesn't make, doesn't attack her, so that she feels, it's just discussing, finding out how to carry it, because she would worry too, and you can say something like this, you would 
worry about the child too. When she grows up, how will she be? So it's think for her. But that this might make her unhappy because you're talking about worry. So you can think, how do you think the child will grow up? And then in order to um, reduce this problem, what can we do? Whenever we are talking to someone, that person might have some problem. We have to be very careful the, with the wording. Because if we say, what if the child grew up to have a lot of problems? That it already has some negative uh, 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 ideas in the question. So we don't want to ask questions like that. You understand? So don't ask questions like that. If she get worse and worse, that means she's very bad now. So it's get worse and worse. So she find out how does she think about a child as of now. Okay? Okay, okay so it's, you can use your counseling skill with her. Okay? All right. All right.